Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to the channel. I have a fun one for you here today. I'm going to show you how to set up 3D Pinball Space Cadet running on your Nintendo Wii. Now, if you've been around the Wii modding scene for a little while, you might already know that this game shows up in the homebrew browser, which then you can just download it directly to your system. And if you followed any of my Wii Flow tutorials, there's a good chance you already have this app sitting on your SD card. But here's the catch. It won't actually run just by installing the app, and that's because to avoid any issues with Microsoft, the developers left out the asset files you need to get the game running. But don't worry, we'll go over that later. So with that being explained, let's hop over to the PC and get started. All right, so to get started, there's a few ways that we can obtain this game here. And like I said, you can use the homebrew browser and download this directly to your system, or you can use the open shop channel here and grab it this way. The only caveat, if you use this, the Wii remote controls here, you'll notice that the Z button is to move the left paddle and the B button is to move the right paddle. So that means if you wanna use the Wiimote, you're also gonna need the nunchuck. I personally don't like that, so I'm not gonna do this one. But what I did is I went over to the our next link and shout out to Michael Chan for uploading this. This is the source code for the game. For those of you who know how, you can compile this yourself, but we'll go over that in a minute. Uh, if you look at the Wii remote, now to move the left paddle, it's the A button, and to move the right paddle, it's the one button. So that's perfect. That makes everything playable on just the Wiimote. You can also use the nunchuck and the classic controller and the GameCube gamepad, which is awesome too. Now, like I said, if you know how to compile this, you can do that yourself, but I already compiled this and I'll leave this in a Google zip for you guys. And like I said earlier, the asset files for this will not be included, but I will show you guys how to get that up and running. Let's go ahead and download this, assuming that you want the pre-compiled one. And uh, I'm just gonna hit the minus button and let's go to our downloads folder here. We can right click, hit extract to and I'm gonna put this on the desktop. And delete the zip, close this for now. So let's go ahead and open this folder. This is the Space Cadet Pinball folder. Inside of this, we have an apps folder. Inside of this, we have Space Cadet Pinball again. And here we have the boot.dol, this will boot the application. And then inside of the data folder, you're gonna notice this is empty. And this is what we have to fill out ourselves. So the next part of this tutorial, you're going to need to be running Windows XP to get these files. Now, some of you might have a Windows XP. That's kind of a long shot, but others are going to have to use a virtual box. And this is pretty simple here, but this isn't going to be a virtual box tutorial. So you're going to go on YouTube and you can just type in how to install Windows XP. You can see on virtual box right here. And to stay current, we can go by filters, go to sort by this year and then pick a tutorial that's current for you right now. This was uploaded 10 months ago, so how to install Windows XP in VirtualBox. It takes literally 10 minutes, as long as you have the uh, Windows XP ISO here, it takes literally 10 minutes to set up. But assuming you already have a VirtualBox and already have this set up, let's go ahead and open it up. I have the VMware Workstation Pro. I'm gonna select Windows XP, and I'm gonna go power on this virtual machine. Hit OK if that pops up, and just give it a moment to load up. All right, now that we're on here, all we have to do is just go to the Start button here, go to My Computer, go to Local Disk, and by the way, if you can't see any of these folders over here in System Tasks, you might have something that says Unhide Folders, something along those lines anyways. Uh, but to keep going, let's go to Program Files, go to Windows NT, go to Pinball, and here's all of the assets that we need. So to highlight them all, you can click it once and then go to control A, that'll highlight everything and then hit control C, that will copy everything. And we can minimize the virtual box now. So let's go ahead and open up that folder we were in earlier with our empty data folder. So again, we have Space Cadet Pinball, open up the data folder, should be empty. Right click and hit paste. And now we have our assets. So we can go ahead and close out of the virtual box now. Uh, I'll just go to, I didn't want to pause it, but I guess that's actually power off right here. Look at that. Then we can close out of it. Now we're not done. We have a couple more things to do. So the game will run now, but you won't have any sound. And that's because if you notice here, we have pinball.mid and pinball2.mid. Now these are our sound files, but the Wii doesn't read the mid file. So we need to convert this. And I have a web page we can go to here called mid to OGG converter. And what we're gonna do here is just 
kind of make the page smaller so you guys can see. Go to our folder here and we're gonna drag in pinball.mid and pinball2.mid right into here. You can see the output's gonna be OGG. Go ahead and hit convert and give this a moment. When it's all set, go ahead and hit download all. And then we can right click the file, go to show in folder. We can minimize our browser. Get these next to each other. You're gonna get a folder in your downloads called compress.zip. Right click it and go to extract here. And this is gonna give you your two OGG files. What we're gonna do is just copy both, put it right into that folder, and they should appear at the bottom now. So we should be all set. Let's go ahead and transfer this over to our SD card now. I already have mine plugged in, so I'm gonna go to WeSD. And what we can do, just to make things clean, I'll show you guys, we'll open up the Space Cadet folder again. We have an apps folder, and we can just drag in the apps folder onto the root of your SD card, and it should merge with the rest of your files. If not, you can open your apps folder, open this apps folder, and you can toss it in manually that way as well. But we should be all set. Let's go ahead and take the SD card out, and we'll test this on the Wii. All right, so back on the Wii, I'm already in the Homebrew channel, and you can see I have 3D Pinball Space Cadet right here. Let's open it up. The list for the controls will be right here. You can see the left paddle is A, the one button is moved to the right. Let's go ahead and hit load, and we'll test this out. And here we go, we can already hear the sound. And if you wanna get started, go ahead and hit two, that should load your ball. I'm gonna hold this down, make sure it really gets going. And I won't play this for too long, just to show you guys that it works. And to get that little bit of that nostalgic feel for those of you just watching the video to be a bro. <laughs> I would've laughed if it would've went right down the hole my first try, I would've been like, ugh. No, but you guys can see it's running pretty good. Uh, I think I'm probably going to call the video here. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing this game. I know I did back in the day, and I'm probably going to have a lot of fun with this now. So I'll catch you guys later. See you in the next video.